Sheru Sani, a civic rights activist and the former senator representing Kaduna Central, has noted that another Hensa's protest, a reference to the 2022 Mara's protest against police brutality, need to happen because the lesson of the first one was not learned. Hmm. The agricultural engineer, poet, and publisher spoke as a panelist at the Prince Ibeka Obasi inaugural memorial lecture held on Thursday in Lagos with the team If the Giant Must Work Manifesto for a New Nigeria. Sani identified credible elections, security, and good education among the key factors for Nigerians' advancement. But regretted that all three are commandos. The first one is credible elections. If we have an electoral system that produces people who genuinely win elections, at least we have legitimacy of leadership at all levels, he said. I don't know my magic, I don't know any magic that can be done when the system and the process through which people emerge in position of power is 40. On security, he said, I come from Kaduna, a state where one quarter is in the hands of bandits and terrorists. The present government is doing his best, but if you look at Kastina, Zanfara, Kebi, Kaduna, and Niger, there are villages that are under the control of bandits. You pay money to terrorists to go to your farm, and you pay money to return to your house. Schools are not safe. The farms are not safe. In my state, a university was attacked. Students were kidnapped. The parents had to sell all their properties to pay ransom to the terrorists. Bertel Baptist High School, a secondary school, was also attacked. Students were also kidnapped, and their parents had to sell all they had to gather over 200 million. Several other schools were attacked in the region. It is as if there is no authority. Most of the people in position of authority today were a product of public education, but they cannot take their children to the school they attended. If you want to take your child to, his, to a good university, it has to be private. If we don't do anything about elections, we don't do anything about security. We don't do anything about education. I don't know how we can solve our problems. On the question of restructuring, Sani wondered, wondered why people who have advocated for it lost interest once they get political power. Why stressing that even the low-hanging fruit, such as the economy, the autonomy of states, Legislatures, judiciary, and local governments have proved unrealistic. We are talking about devolution of power. We are talking about restructuring. Most people who are in positions of authority have a lot of ideas, he said. A tropical state governor today will be an advocate for state police. But when they are out of power and they are in open confrontation, with the state governor, they know that their lives are at risk. Simple, simple issues of autonomy of state, judiciary, state legislature, and local government are still a problem. Not to talk of the restructuring of the whole country. Restructuring is the campaign manifesto of APC. They control the houses of representatives. They control the Senate. They control the executive. They control all the levels of power. They can't, we, why can't we gather today or tomorrow and restructure the country? He wondered. If you have ideas about restructuring and it is your manifesto and you have political power, but you cannot restructure, what are you waiting for? Sani noted further that what I have come to observe is that we know the problems of the country. And we know the solutions, but by the time we get to power, we forget both the problem and the solution. The people in position of authority today, 
were part of us. They were in the vineyard of the struggle for restructuring of this country. And it was as if we had the magic one that would solve all the problems of Nigeria. But from 2015 to date, we are still discussing the problem. So is that what we want? Then we should continue to discuss the problem without solving it. As a country, we need to tell ourselves the truth. If this country wants to remain one, united, progressive, and forward-looking, I think we should make provisions to address the problems we are facing. Young people, you have to take your own destiny into your own hands. The next answer's protest has to come because nothing is happening. <laughs> he said the next answer's protest have to come. Hmm. Nigerians, I agree if you and your family will lead them. So this is how far you love the country. Which love has they delivered? The leader show us any love. There was a country, ethnic city, and religion have destroyed Nigeria. Okay, these are some reactions from Nigerians who have reacted to this. What's your take? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.